Man, the legal tampering period started, but it actually seems like they have been more releases than signings so far. But of course, you know it's gonna pick up throughout the day. Um, maybe even by the time you see this video. But anyway, the Browns, who are always crazy active in free agency every single year. Um, and of course, a couple days ago, they traded for one Amari Cooper. Uh, and with his contract status, I'm sure they'll rework that eventually. But anyway, when they traded for Amari Cooper, even before they traded for Amari Cooper, it was known that it had been said amongst Cleveland Browns that Jarvis Landry, ah, it was looking a bit shaky. It was looking a bit shaky. The relationship was shaky. The contract was shaky. Um, and his status with the Browns was shaky. But now the Browns have shaken him off. Because, of course, a couple days ago, they gave him permission to seek a trade. Uh, but now, I guess they were like, you know what? No, you can go. Bye. Bye. Thanks for everything, but bye. Uh, and Jarvis Landry is nice, man. I, I always liked Jarvis Landry even when he was back with the Dolphins. Um, he is somebody, he, he shows up, he, he's tough, he can make all the catches. Um, he, he's really good at working the underneath the intermediate routes. Uh, great third down guy. He, he's a good receiver. And it's not going to be long until he's picked up again by somebody else. Uh, but this move, it, it's not a surprising move. Um, with Jarvis Landry... Uh, it the writing was had already been on the wall, but then of course the Amari Cooper trade uh, that just made it that much more clear that the Browns were going to be moving on. It was just a matter of time. Uh, so when they granted him uh, to granted him permission to seek a trade, that's when you know it's only a matter of time. <laughs> that's when you know that that time that clock is ticking and it's ticking fast. Now with Jarvis Landry, um, well not even with Jarvis Landry, uh, with the Browns. With the Browns, they apparently been sniffing around at Deshaun Watson. And that would be very interesting because, of course, the report came out earlier that um, now it was from Mary Kay Cabot. So I know how a lot of Browns fans feel about Mary Kay. But anyway, uh, it was said that if they, that they would be looking around at Deshaun Watson and if they were to trade for him, then that would include Baker Mayfield and some picks, and possibly even some more players. Uh, but that's understandable, because it's Deshaun Watson. The Texans are going to want to get as much as they possibly can for Deshaun Watson when they do eventually trade him, probably within the next week. Maybe even less time than that, but probably within the next week, because Deshaun Watson probably going to take his time, because uh, they said he wants to meet with some other teams before he is traded, because he has a no-trade clause. So he would have to waive that, and he would have to approve it to where he, when, where he ends up making his next move at. But... We'll see how this thing goes. But this is only the beginning uh, of free. It's literally literally only the beginning. Right now, it's 1224 as of this recording. Um, so, yeah, we're just getting started. So Jarvis Landry, he can go wherever he wants to. And, and this makes it easier for him to go wherever he wants to. Because when you have to seek a trade, that team has to give up compensation in order to acquire you. Um, and they have to take on your contract. But now that he's a free agent, him and the new team, they can come to their own contract agreement, whatever they feel uh, he is due. So it just makes the process so much easier for him and also for other teams to bring him on. So we'll see where he ends up going. We out.